Quetzalcoatlus was first discovered in the 1970s in Texas, USA, within the fossil-rich Big Bend National Park. The creature is named after the Aztec feathered serpent deity, Quetzalcoatl, and it certainly lived up to its mythical namesake. The fossils revealed one of the largest flying animals ever known, sparking immense curiosity among paleontologists. The genus belongs to a group of flying reptiles called pterosaurs, which thrived during the Mesozoic era. What makes Quetzalcoatlus extraordinary is its sheer size and unique adaptations, distinguishing it from other pterosaurs. Quetzalcoatlus had a wingspan estimated between 10 to 12 meters, or 33 to 40 feet. Some estimates even suggest it could reach up to 15 meters, making it the largest known flying animal. On the ground, it stood as tall as a giraffe, approximately 5 to 6 meters, or 16 to 20 feet. Despite its massive size, it was surprisingly lightweight, weighing only about 200 to 250 kilograms. This lightweight was due to its hollow bones, an adaptation crucial for flight. Its long, toothless beak was another fascinating feature. This structure was likely used for foraging or hunting, much like modern storks or herons. Quetzalcoatlus lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 65 million years ago. Its fossils suggest it inhabited what is now North America, a land of vast plains, rivers, and shallow seas. During this time, the earth was warmer and sea levels were higher, creating an environment rich in biodiversity. Quetzalcoatlus thrived in this ecosystem, sharing its world with famous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. One of the most debated topics among paleontologists is how Quetzalcoatlus managed to fly. How does a creature with such a massive wingspan and large body take to the skies? Modern research suggests that Quetzalcoatlus was an expert flyer. It likely used a technique called quadrupedal launching, where it pushed off the ground using both its strong hind limbs and powerful front limbs. Once airborne, it could glide efficiently for long distances, taking advantage of thermals and air currents. Its wings were incredibly well adapted for sustained flight, allowing it to travel hundreds of kilometers without needing to land. This ability made it a highly mobile predator, capable of covering vast territories in search of food. So, what did Quetzalcoatlus eat? While it was undoubtedly a carnivore, its exact diet remains a topic of speculation. Some theories suggest it hunted small vertebrates, like fish, reptiles, and mammals, swooping down to snatch them with its long beak. Another possibility is that it scavenged carcasses left behind by other predators. Its large size and intimidating presence might have allowed it to drive away smaller competitors from a kill. Quetzalcoatlus also likely foraged along riverbanks and wetlands, using its beak to probe for prey in shallow water or mud, much like modern storks or pelicans. This versatile feeding behavior would have been a significant advantage in its diverse ecosystem. While Quetzalcoatlus is famous for its flight, it also spent considerable time on the ground. Unlike many depictions, it wasn't awkward or clumsy when walking. Using its long limbs, it moved in a quadrupedal manner, folding its wings neatly and walking on all fours. This efficient gait allowed it to cover ground quickly, whether foraging or avoiding predators. Its giraffe-like height gave it a significant advantage, allowing it to spot potential threats or prey from a distance. Quetzalcoatlus, like many other iconic species, disappeared during the mass extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. This catastrophic event, likely caused by a massive asteroid impact, wiped out about 75% of all life on Earth, including the non-avian dinosaurs and most pterosaurs. However, Quetzalcoatlus's legacy lives on. It continues to captivate scientists and the public alike, Representing the pinnacle of prehistoric flight, its fossils provide invaluable insights into the evolution of flying animals and the dynamics of ancient ecosystems. Let's wrap up with some quick and fascinating facts. Quetzalcoatlus's wingspan was roughly equivalent to that of a small private jet. Despite its size, it likely weighed less than an adult human, thanks to its hollow bones. It's named after an Aztec god, reflecting its majestic and otherworldly appearance. Quetzalcoatlus could travel vast distances without flapping its wings, conserving energy during long migrations. 
Some researchers believe it may have hunted like a modern-day heron, striking at prey with precision and speed. Quetzalcoatlus was more than just a flying reptile. It was a marvel of nature, showcasing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life during the Mesozoic era. From its breathtaking size to its unique lifestyle, this pterosaur remains one of the most iconic creatures of prehistoric times. What do you think about Quetzalcoatlus? If this majestic giant existed today, how do you imagine it would fit into our world? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the ancient world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.